Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to draw an awareness ribbon like this one in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, now I've already opened Illustrator, and I'm just going to come up here to Create New. Now we'll head over here to Print, right up here on the top, and I'll choose Letter, and then we'll Create. Okay, and now I'm going to get my pen tool. And to do that, I'll hit P on my keyboard. And that will bring us right over here to the tool in our toolbar. For the first side of the ribbon, I'm going to just draw an arc kind of down like this. So I'll click once up here, and then I'm going to click over here and just drag. All right, and that looks pretty good. Now we'll get back on the selection tool and we'll hit D on our keyboard. And what that does is it gives us a white fill and a black outline. So I really only need the black outline. So I'm just going to hit the backslash key or question mark on my keyboard to clear that. You can also hit this button right down here. Okay, so now let's hit Shift W to get to our width tool. When I use this, I like to start on an existing point. It just keeps it a little simpler that way. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom on this point, click on it, and just drag it out like this. Maybe not quite that far. Okay, and now I'll hit Z on my keyboard, which will bring me to the zoom tool, and I'll draw a box around what I want to zoom in on. All right, so we've got one side of our ribbon. So I'm just going to copy this with Command C, that's Control C on a PC, and then paste in front, which is Command F or Control F on a PC. Now we'll hit O, and what O does is it brings us to the Reflect tool, and that's right over here. And then, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a little anchor point right here. And I'm going to hold Option, and when I hold Option, it gives me a little minus sign by my cursor, and that means that I'm choosing a new anchor point. So I will hold Option and then just click once, and then I'll choose Vertical. So what I'm doing is I'm reflecting this shape. We have two shapes right on top of each other, and we did that with Command and Paste in front. So now we're reflecting one of those shapes and we'll say, okay. We've already got a lot of our ribbon. Um, right now I'm going to click V on my keyboard to get to my selection tool. I'm just going to drag this down a little bit. Okay, so now I want something that'll fill out this space right up here. And I think a good option is the circle tool or ellipse tool. So I'll hit L on my keyboard and it'll take me to this tool right over here. Now I'm going to make a circle that just comes across the top like this. And then I'll use my arrow keys to move it over and kind of center it in that area. Now I'll grab this bottom edge and just pull it down a little bit. And maybe even a little more. Okay. Now I'll hit V and I'll click on this and I'll hold Shift and Option. And what this is doing is it's creating a copy. Option makes the copy and Shift keeps it on that same vertical line. So if I move it over here, see how it kind of snaps to where it wants to go? Okay, so we'll just do this. And then I'll move this up a little bit. Okay, and now you can kind of see that we have the top of it. So what we need to do is get rid of these bottom areas of our circle. So I'm just going to highlight this with my selection tool. And then I'll hit Shift M that will get me to the Shape Builder tool. And if we hold Option and drag across these bottom areas, it'll just delete them. We're getting really close. Now I'm going to expand this stroke. Right now it's a stroke that's small and getting bigger like this, but I wanna change it to a fill. And to do that, we have to expand this. So I wanna show you something. When we hit Command Y or Control Y on a PC, you can see this is just a line that has an effect on it. Now hit Control Y or Command Y to get back, and it looks completely different when you're in the regular view. So let's go ahead and select both of them with our selection tool, and we'll come up here to Object Expand. If Expand is grayed out like this, you can just choose Expand Appearance. And now we've got a fill instead of a stroke on both of those. And if we hit Command Y, it has expanded that thin line all the way out to a filled shape. 
So now let's choose the first part of the ribbon and I'm going to make this kind of a light green. Oops, I've got a stroke. So I'm going to undo and I'll hit X on my keyboard to bring the fill to the front and we'll come over here and grab a green, a lighter green. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this piece to the front because I want it to be the topmost piece. So I'll hit shift command and right bracket that shift control right bracket on a PC. All right, now I'm going to grab this next piece with my selection tool and I'll hit I on my keyboard, which will bring me to the eyedropper and the eyedropper will let me grab a color from something that already is colored the way I like it. Okay. So we'll just click on this green right here and that'll give me a starting point. I want to make this a little darker. I'm going to double click on the fill and then just choose a slightly darker green, maybe a little bit darker. Okay. So now we have one piece of the ribbon and it's obvious that it's on top of the other piece because it's a different color. And now finally, let's take the top part of our ribbon and do the same thing. Let's get on our selection tool with V and then choose the top part of the ribbon. Now I'll switch over to I, which is my eyedropper and I'll choose that darker part. Now we can double click on that color and make it even darker and we'll say, okay. Now this piece needs to be behind the other pieces. So I'm going to select it with my V tool and I'll hit shift command left bracket. That is shift control left bracket on a PC. Okay. So now we are almost completely done with our ribbon. Now all we need to do is cut these little extra pieces off. So to do that, I'm going to get on my selection tool, select all three pieces and then hit shift M to get back on my shape builder tool. And now we can hold option to delete the parts we don't want. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I'll get back on my shape builder and I will just option and click these little pieces. So if I move this away right now, this piece is underneath that. And I actually don't want that. I want, I want the green to stop right here. I'm going to hit V to use my selection tool and then come down here to the pathfinder and choose the third one from the right, which is merge. And that just kind of takes all the pieces that you can see and merges them together. So it'll take all the green, all the light green shapes, all the medium green and dark green and make them into one piece. So now if I hide these two pieces with command three or control three on a PC, we can see what we have left. We've got a couple little weird pieces right here that it didn't get. So I'm going to use my um, group selection tool, which is right under here uh, and select those and then delete them. Okay. Let's show all, which is option command three or control alt three on a PC. And now I want to kind of smooth out these areas. And to do that, I'll hit shift S, which will give me my smooth tool. And the smooth tool works really well for stuff like this, where you just go over it a few times and it smooths it out. So I'll select this one now and I'll hit shift S and just smooth that out nicely. Okay. And this part right in here is a little weird. I'm going to zoom in really close and just select that piece, select that point, and then just kind of pull it out like that to kind of make that round. And we'll command minus or control minus on a PC. All right. So now we have a super cute awareness ribbon. I'm going to copy this and paste it and then I'll just move it over. I also wanted to show you since all of these are perfectly aligned with each other, if we hit D on our keyboard, we get a perfect white and black outline version of this ribbon. So that's something that's kind of cool that you can do if you just need an outline version quickly. And that's it. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.